this one's going to be on how to be able to install the Squid Proxy Server on Windows 10. And uh, basically, all you want to do to be able to download it, download the application, is just go to, uh, you can just type in on the browser, you can like proxy, no, not proxy, Squid, actually, Squid Server Download. And uh, it should be this one here, the uh, squid dot T I L A D E L E. So just click on that. This is for Windows, of course, and then just go ahead and download MSI, and that's it. Then after that, just run it, install it. Should be very simple to install. So, and uh, now that we have downloaded. First thing we need to do over here, if uh, we see we have this tray icon for Windows, Squid for Windows. So if we click on that, we can open up the Squid configuration file straight from there. We can also stop and start the service. So if you click on stop, it'll stop it. And then if you click on start, of course it'll start it. You can open up the Squid folder, which basically means just the squid folder so you can see all the other directories that are in there as well so and you also get one more thing in here you get a squid terminal more than likely you're not going to be using the uh, squid terminal but there are a few useful commands that you might need so it's always important to know that you have that there if you need it okay so let's go ahead and start on work start working on the squid configuration file which is the most important thing in here you're gonna be making all the configurations to your actual server so let's go ahead and look at the first thing we want to do over here is we want to go ahead and actually even before we do this the most recommended thing is you want to go ahead and create a copy so we can just click on the folder here go to Etsy or ETC go to squid and then here just go ahead and locate the squid.conf and what you would do is just copy and then paste I already have one in here but that's all you would do you paste it like I can paste it and it's gonna give me a second copy so for you it should be the first copy all right so once you got that copy that's your set basically the copy is in case anything goes wrong you can always go back and uh, delete the one that is wrong and then just use the copy one or just refer to the copy to see what might need to be done or changed okay so let's go ahead and let's begin from the very beginning we're gonna look at the port uh, by default it should be 3128 so let's uh, see where it's at it's right here it says 3128 we can go ahead and leave it on 3128 it's not such a big deal but if you feel like you want to change it there it is we're just gonna leave it like that for now next thing is to uncomment the HTTP allow access local net in case it's not more than likely it should be so here it is it's allowed already so no need to worry about it but if for some reason it's commented you definitely want to uncomment that so okay the next thing is the custom ACL so if you ever create a custom ACL you want to go ahead and create it under the Etsy so let's go back over here and let's just go to open folder so we're gonna create it under Etsy and then under squid okay so in here we're gonna go ahead and just create new you know it's gonna be a new let me see if I can just new file here new I guess text document would be it so we're gonna go ahead and uh, name it blocked sites so blocked underscore sites okay and that's it so all right so let's go ahead and create a blocked ACL a custom ACL, I mean. Um, so in here, we're just gonna go ahead and give a comment that is a custom ACL. Okay, and we're just gonna type in ACL blocked sites underscore sites. Okay, and then we're gonna do DST domain. Okay, and then we're gonna pass in within single quotes the path which is gonna be Etsy and then it's gonna be squid or I'm sorry yeah Etsy squid and then block sites block sites okay and then in here we can do the HTTP underscore access uh, 
we're gonna say deny so we're gonna call it block sites okay and that's it so we're gonna go ahead and save it for now but one thing we want to go ahead and do is we want to go back to the configure uh, to the folder here go back to the Etsy and then under squid and then let's look for this one so in here we want to go ahead and we're gonna want to uh, make sure that we um, enter some sites that we want blocked so let's say we want Facebook to be blocked so let's do dot Facebook dot com okay and then we're gonna do dot let's do MSN dot com for now and lastly we'll do dot what would be another site maybe yahoo dot com okay and we'll just save this so these three websites are gonna be blocked okay so okay so let's put it to the test so one thing we want to make sure is that we're able to we're gonna go ahead and stop the squid proxy and we're gonna start it so we should not have uh, access to let's see let's go let's open up Firefox right now and let's go to Facebook so we should be able to go to Facebook right now because um, it is not set up to use squid proxy by default so you have to set this up so you have to set it up on our system so if we type in anything like internet let's say internet options in here okay so now that we have proxy server here at the bottom under connections look your network so we want to go ahead and make sure that we put in the 31 28 and I think on the address we should be fine with just local host hopefully it's not gonna throw any errors Okay, so let's click OK. OK, and now let's go ahead and uh, might have to close it up. I'm not sure. Let's see, still allowing me. So let's go ahead and reopen it. Okay, so one thing I want to make sure is that the block ACL that we created, the custom ACL. We put it right after the ACLs over here, so make sure that you put it here for some reason. Only until I put it here, it worked. And uh, so once you put it here, then it should be good. But one thing we want to make sure is we allow it on our um, Windows 10 system. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to the firewall and go to Windows Defender Firewall and then go to Advanced Settings. And then in there, under inbound rule, I have already added the rule, but basically all you would do is create a new rule, go to port, and then next, and then just type it in. So it should be 3128. And then you want to go ahead and click next, then allow the connection. And then after that, leave all that there. And then you want to give it the name, which is going to be squid, and then the description, and that's it. So then you have that set up on your firewall. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to you can just type in here proxy and then change proxy settings so you can do it directly from here just type in this or you can do it this the way that I did it by going to internet options and going to connections LAN settings and in here you want to go ahead and use the proxy server and just type in the IP and then the uh, port number and that's it that's how easy it is to be able to do this and then after that basically now um, let me open up Firefox but one thing that I want to check out on Firefox like right now if I go to Facebook it's going to be denied as you see and then if I go to any other website uh, it should be good so but one thing I want to check is I want to see if uh, if I go to network settings here if I just use the uh, uh, system proxy and then click OK will it still work uh, and I want to close it up and then reopen it 
because by default it should be under that so let's see if it'll work so if we go to facebook yep still refusing so all right so that's how easy we set up the uh custom acls so make sure again one more time make sure you put it right under the acls over here make your custom acl and just put it here so all right moving on the next thing we're gonna do is want to go ahead and allow cash so for this I'm just gonna copy and paste but uh, basically you want to go ahead and go to uh, let me see where it's at so right here under cash so I'm just gonna copy this here and more than likely you don't have this so all you would do is just copy this but just make sure you change it to bar cash squid okay and then after that you want to go ahead and give it the uh you're gonna do 3016 and 256 so these are i guess the defaults should be fine and then i uh, want to go ahead and uh stop the server the squid server so we're going to go ahead and uh well first of all let's go ahead and save this so all right, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up the squid server. We're gonna go ahead and stop the squid server. So once we stop the squid server, we're gonna go ahead and open up the squid terminal. Okay, and in here, we wanna go ahead and type in the following commands. So it'll be squid dash z. Uh, but one thing I wanted to show you first before we even do this. Um, so it's under bar cache squid. So this folder is empty right now, okay? So in a little bit, you'll see what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it up for now. And we're gonna go ahead and press enter. Oh yeah, one thing we wanna go ahead and run it as administrator. So let's do that. Okay, um, and let's type in squid-z. And there we go. So now that's done. And let's go back over here. And as you see, all these things are populating. So that's how you know that it's working. So, so I let it finish. And then after that, the next thing you want to do, of course, is want to go ahead and start the uh, squid server. So click on yes. And there we go. So, so that's it. Okay, let's go back to the configuration file over here. Okay, so let's see what else we can do. We already, uh, top of cache allowed. So over here, we can go ahead and copy this here, the um, refresh pattern. Okay, and then just press enter and then just paste this. Okay, and then what we'll go ahead and do is uh, we'll go ahead and put a dot and then an asterisk and then uh, I think it's a backslash or forward slash whatever one of those should be on your um, top uh, one of the top keys on your keyboard should be next to the plus equal sign okay so then after that we're gonna put a dot and then within Within parentheses, we're gonna go ahead and type in JPG. We're basically given the form types of file that we wanna be able to cache. So we're gonna do JPG, so images, and then PNG, which is also an image. And then we wanna go ahead and allow PDF files as well. We're gonna allow MP3, MP4, CSV, I guess. Uh, we can do something like uh, WebM. Um, what else? Um, let me see over here. What else? I have uh, FLB and MKV and whatever else you want to allow in there. So for now, that should be good enough, I guess. 